That's right, this is the new MD-80 hangar, or shall I say, the Demon Works. Hey guys, it's Demon Driver, and uh, let's start building the MD-80, or all seven of them. I was thinking of doing eight, doing one prototype, and then seven of the MD-80s with the um, fiberglass noses and tail sections, and those will be the production versions, so. I don't know. And I'm also going to do an MD-90, just simply a little bit longer and with the bigger turbofan engine. So that's another kit that will be a branch off of the MD-80. Also the DC-951, slightly smaller, you know, the original long DC-9 before the uh, Super 80 series. So there are going to be a lot of modifications and outgrowths of this MD-80 build. So uh, let's get building. Okay, this is Demon Driver here, and uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically you want to clean up the floor that you're laying your plans on, and use a broom, uh, use a vacuum cleaner, whatever you have to do. Basically, clean all the debris off the floor that you're going to be laying your plans down, because even if you printed them out with a plotter printer, you want to make sure that there's no debris or anything underneath the plans that could, you know, cause problems later on. So you basically do want to make sure that there's, you know, nothing that's going to get in the way. And I spent basically the whole afternoon cleaning up this, uh, this garage here and I'm running the Demon Works. Okay. Remember, on the uplift desk, we were working out the size of the MD-80, wingspan, length of the fuselage, stabilizers, size of the edge of the cells, okay. We're going to take this information, and now we're going to blow it up to real size. If you guys have a plotter printer, if you have a friend at Kinko's FedEx, or somewhere where you can print this stuff up, do that, okay? This is very labor intensive. If you don't have a plotter printer, if you don't have the ability to go print out your plans, then you have to do this. I prefer to do this because it keeps me sharp and it keeps me, I'm not beholden and I'm not a hostage of a plotter printer, if that makes any sense. So here's what we're gonna do. The MD-80 is going to be, this particular MD-80 is going to be 88 inches long. So, MD-80, 88 inches long, and you want to run, you want to run past your 88 inches by possibly, you know, the end of the, of the rudder tail is actually 93.50 inches, so we're going to have to go to about maybe 98 inches, maybe actually 100 inches from the nose to the tail, so you want to run over. So here we go. Tape measure. Tape measure. We're going to get out 100 inches. It's like 
four inches smaller. So. Okay. I move this tape measure aside. And we are going to do a side profile view of the airline. The side view. This view. This is what I'm going to replicate right now. I bought this roll of paper, and I think Staples or Office Max, if you live in Europe and different parts of the country, you probably have things that are similar to this. In the past, I would take paper and just take it together, but if I can get a roll and it's durable paper, I'm going to use it. Here we go. I use these Ryobi 18 volt batteries as weights. They're basically dead now. I've used them so many times that they've lost their usefulness. So these are paperweights. Watch. You guys are getting this. Let me just move this. There we are. Now we're cooking with vinegar. Okay. Now, I don't want the tape measure moving. Matter of fact, I'm going to be getting out on these old knees. I'm 36 and I'm still in pretty good shape, but you know, after a while, you, wanna, you kind of want to take care of your take care of yourself, so you can't always be jumping around on concrete floors. So here's what I do. Go ahead. All right. You want to secure the tape measure down on the paper so it doesn't move around. Very important. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm taping the tape measure down on the paper. I don't want the tape measure moving. It's going to 
going to stay right where it is, not moving. That's why if I bump into it, nothing's going to happen. And I'm going to do the same thing with the paper. I'm making sure this paper is down on this floor. Doesn't move around. It's got to stay right where it is. You guys think this is a lot of work and I'm nuts? You ain't seen nothing yet. Stick around, this gets really interesting. Taking the paper to the floor so it doesn't move. If I sneeze, if I do something, it's going to stay right where it's supposed to be. Top, bottoms, sides. Everything. Okay. All right. Go back to the front. And we do the corners. I use a, uh, a scotch tape. Which is that, you know, which is kind of has a texture to it so you can draw over it. Very important. Okay. All right, let's rock. going anywhere. This is going to be the side view of the MDA. Here we go. We're going to start to map out all of the significant spots on the MDA. End of the tail, beginning of the nose, beginning of the wing box, beginning of the wing, end of the wing, beginning of the nacelle, end of the nacelle, beginning of the nose section, um, beginning of the tail section, beginning of the rudder, end of the rudder. Get the message? Okay. Here we go. First mark will be where the plane starts. And I'm going to say right about there. Mark it on both sides. That's one inch. Okay, the nose section starts at 11 inches. Now, when you put down 
happen where the nose starts, where the tail starts. What you do is make an arrow in the direction that the begin where it's going. If the, nose, if the wing box starts here and runs that way, put an arrow that way so you don't confuse yourself. This is almost like you're drawing a map. Someone has given you a piece of paper and you have to uh, decipher it and make a big map or something. That's what we're doing. Okay. The wing starts at 41.25. Okay, 55 inches, the wing ends. 55 inches, we mark it. 55 inches, 5-5, five, 5-5, five. Five, five. wing ends. And then we do an arrow going back that way. So the wing starts here, the wing ends there. This is a small wing. Even for an 88-inch airplane, it's a small wing. The most important thing, the 88 inch mark to signify where the plane ends. 88 end. That's all you got to or you're right, fuse ends. Alright, let me see how much time is on the film here because you only have 15 minutes. 